Deepwater Horizon from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. Deepwater Horizon was an ultra-deepwater, dynamically positioned, semi-submersible offshore oil drilling rig owned by Transocean. Built in 2001 in South Korea by Hyundai Heavy Industries, the rig was commissioned by R&B Falcon, which later became part of Transocean, registered in Majuro Marshall Islands, and leased to BP from 2001 until September 2013. In September 2009, the rig drilled the deepest oil well in history at a vertical depth of 35,050 feet and measured depth of 35,055 feet in the Tiber oil field at Keithley Canyon, Block 102, approximately 250 miles southeast of Houston, in 4,132 feet of water. On April 20, 2010, while drilling at the Macondo Prospect, an explosion on the rig caused by a blowout killed 11 crewmen and ignited a fireball visible from 40 miles away. The resulting fire could not be extinguished, and on April 22, 2010, Deepwater Horizon sank, leaving the whale gushing at the seabed and causing the largest offshore oil spill in U.S. history. Design Deepwater Horizon was a fifth-generation RBS-80 design, i.e. model type, deepwater, dynamically positioned, column-stabilized, semi-submersible mobile offshore drilling unit, designed to drill subsea wells for oil exploration and production using an 18.75-inch, 15,000 psi blowout preventer and a 21-inch outside diameter marine riser. Deepwater Horizon was the second semi-submersible rig constructed of a class of two, although Deepwater Nautilus, its predecessor, is not dynamically positioned. The rig was 396 by 256 feet and capable of operating in waters up to 8,000 feet deep to a maximum drill depth of 30,000 feet, and in 2010 was one of approximately 200 deepwater offshore rigs capable of drilling in waters deeper than 5,000 feet. Its American Bureau of Shipping, ABS, class notations were A1, Column Stabilized Drilling Unit, AMS, ACCU, DPS-3. In 2002, the rig was upgraded with eDrill, a drill monitoring system whereby technical personnel based in Houston, Texas, received real-time drilling data from the rig and transmitted maintenance and troubleshooting information. Advanced systems played a key role in the rig's operation, from pressure and drill monitoring technology to automated shutoff systems and modeling systems for cementing. The Optisem cement modeling system used by Halliburton in April 2010 for BP's Gulf of Mexico drill played a crucial part in cement slurry mix and support decisions. These decisions have become a focus for investigations into the explosion on the rig that month. History. Construction and Ownership. Deepwater Horizon was built for R&B Falcon, which later became part of Transocean, by Hyundai Heavy Industries in Ulsan, South Korea. Construction started in December 1998. The keel was laid on March 21, 2000, and the rig was delivered on February 23, 2001, after acquisition of R&B Falcon by Transocean. Until December 29, 2004, the rig was registered in the Republic of Panama. Transocean, through its Steinhausen Switzerland subsidiary Triton Asset Leasing GmbH, operated the rig under the Marshallese flag of convenience. The rig was leased to BP on a three-year contract for deployment in the Gulf of Mexico following construction. The lease was renewed in 2004 for a year, 2005 for five years, and 2009 for three years, covering 2010 and 2013. The last contract was worth $544 million U.S. million, or $496,800 a day, for a bare rig, with crew, gear, and support vessels estimated to cost the same. According to R&B Falcon's filings to SEC in 2001, the transfer document between R&B Falcon and Transocean was dated April 17, 2001, and the rig was specified as Official Registration Number of 29273-PEXT-1, IMO Number of 8764597. With gross tonnage of 32588 and net tonnage of 9778 and the transfer value as $340 million U.S. As of 2010, the rig was insured for $560 million U.S. million, covering the replacement cost and wreckage removal. Drilling Operations Deepwater Horizon worked on wells in the Atlantis, BP 56%, BHP Billington 44%, and Thunder Horse, BP 75%, Exxon Mobil 25% oil fields. It was described at times as a lucky and celebrated rig, and in 2007 was still described as one of the most powerful rigs in the world. In 2006, it discovered oil in the Cascita oil field, and in 2009, the giant Tiber field. The well in the Tiber field has a vertical depth of 35,050 feet and a measured depth of 35,055 feet below 4,132 feet of water. The well was the deepest oil well in the world and more than 5,000 feet further below the seabed than the rig's official drilling specification stated on the company's fleet list. In February 2010, Deepwater Horizon commenced drilling an exploratory well at the Macondo Prospect, Mississippi Canyon Block 252, about 41 miles off the southeast coast of Louisiana, at a water depth of approximately 5,000 feet. The Macondo Prospect exploration rights were acquired by BP in 2009, with the prospect jointly owned by BP 65%, Anadarko 25%, and Moex Offshore 2007 10%. Deepwater Horizon was still working on the Macondo site on April 20, 2010, when a violent explosion occurred leading to the destruction of the rig and resulting oil spill. The well was in the final stages of completion at the time. 
Its cement casing was injected and hardening, and the rig was due to move shortly to its next role as a semi-permanent production platform at the Nile site, followed by a return to the Cascita field. The exploratory work was described as concluded, and permission had already been requested from MMS to terminate operations at the Macondo site. During its operational lifetime, the rig was actively in operation for 93% of its working life. 2,896 of 3,131 days. The remainder partly relates to time spent between sites. Regulation, Safety, and Inspection The Minerals Management Service, renamed on June 18, 2010, to the Bureau of Ocean Energy Management, Regulation, and Enforcement, or Bureau of Ocean Energy, BOE, is the regulatory and inspecting body for offshore oil drilling and rigs in the United States of America. According to an Associated Press investigation, certain safety documentation and emergency procedure information, including documentation for the exact incident that later occurred, was absent. The exact number of required monthly inspections performed varied over time. The inspections were carried out as required for the first 40 months, but after that, around 25% of inspections were omitted, although the investigation notes this is partly expected, since there are circumstances such as weather and movement which preclude an inspection. Reports for the last three inspections for 2010 were provided under Freedom of Information legislation. Each of these inspections had taken two hours or less. During its lifetime, the rig received five citations for non-compliance, four of which were in 2002, safety, including the blow-up preventer, and the other in 2003, pollution. A sixth citation in 2007 related to non-grounded electrical equipment was later withdrawn when the equipment was determined to be compliant with regulation. Overall, the Deepwater Horizon safety record was strong, according to a drilling consultant reviewing the information. In 2009, the Minerals Management Service heralded the Deepwater Horizon as an industry model for safety. According to AP's investigation, the record was so exemplary, according to MMS officials, that the rig was never on inspectors' informal watch list for problem rigs. Explosion and Oil Spill at 9.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time on April 20, 2010, during the final phases of drilling the exploratory well at Macondo, a geyser of seawater erupted from the marine riser on the rig, shooting 240 feet into the air. This was soon followed by an eruption of a slushy combination of mud, methane gas, and water. The gas combination of the slushy material quickly transitioned into a fully gaseous state and then ignited into a series of explosions and then a firestorm. An attempt was made to activate the blowout preventer, but it failed. At the time of the explosion, there were 126 crew on board, 7 were employees of BP, 79 of Transocean. There were also employees of various other companies involved in the operation of the rig, including Anna Darko, Halliburton, and M.I. Swaco. 11 workers were presumed killed in the initial explosion. The rig was evacuated, with numerous injured workers airlifted to medical facilities. After burning for approximately 36 hours, Deepwater Horizon sank on April 22, 2010. The remains of the rig were located resting at the seafloor approximately 5,000 feet deep at that location, and about 1,300 feet northwest of the well. The resultant oil spill continued until July 15th, when it was temporarily closed by a cap. Relief wells were used to permanently seal the well, which was declared effectively dead on September 19th, 2010. Aftermath Transocean received an early partial insurance settlement for total loss of the Deepwater Horizon of $401 million U.S. around May 5th, 2010. Financial analysts note that the insurance recovery is likely to outweigh the value of the rig, although not necessarily its replacement value, and any liabilities, the latter estimated at up to $200 million U.S. Litigation, ultimate roll call of damage, and the scope of final insurance recovery were all unknown as of June 2010, with analysts reporting that the aftermath is of unprecedented scale and complexity compared to previous disasters which themselves took many years to unfold and resolve. A July 2010 analysis by the Financial Times on the aftermath cites legal sources as saying that, at some point, the scale of the litigation becomes so large that it really is novel, that the situation is likely to be complicated further because the variety of probable causes means it will be hard to aggregate them into so-called class actions, and that there is no way to put this in historical context because we have never faced anything like this before. As with the Axon Valdez disaster, litigation is being discussed in terms of a 20-year timescale. In January 2013, Transocean agreed to pay $1.4 billion U.S. for violations of the U.S. Clean Water Act. BP had earlier agreed to pay $2.4 billion, but faces additional penalties that could range from $5 billion to $20 billion. In September 2014, Halliburton agreed to settle a large percent of legal claims against them by paying $1.1 billion into a trust by way of three installments over two years. On September 4, 2014, U.S. District Judge Carl Barbier ruled BP was guilty of gross negligence and willful misconduct under the Clean Water Act, CWA. He described BP's actions as reckless while he said Transocean's and Halliburton's actions were negligent. He apportioned 67% of the blame for this bill to BP, 30% to Transocean, and 3% to Halliburton. BP issued a statement strongly disagreeing with the finding and saying the court's decision would be appealed. There is an info box accompanying this article. 
Deepwater Horizon Semi-Submersible Drilling Rig. Career. Name, Deepwater Horizon. Owner, Transocean's Triton Asset Leasing GmbH. Operator, Transocean. Port of Registry, Panama, February 23, 2001 to December 28, 2004. Marshall Islands, Majuro, December 29, 2004 to April 20, 2010. Route, Gulf of Mexico. Ordered, December 1998. Builder, Hyundai Heavy Industries. Cost, $560 million U.S. Way number, 89. Laid down, March 21, 2000. Completed, 2001. Acquired, February 23, 2001. Maiden Voyage, Ulsan, South Korea to Freeport, Texas. Out of service, April 20, 2010. Identification, ABS class number 0139290. Call sign, V7HC9. IMO number, 8764597. MMSI number 5380022213. Fate sank on April 22, 2010, after an explosion and fire. Notes located in the Gulf of Mexico at a depth of 5,000 feet at 28.736667 degrees north, 88.386944 degrees west. General characteristics: class and type: ABS plus A1 DPS-3 column stabilized MODU. Tonnage. 32,588 gross tonnage, 9,776 net tonnage. Displacement, 52,587 tons, 51,756 long tons, 57,967 short ton. Length, 112 meters, 367 feet. Beam, 78 meters, 256 feet. Height, 97.4 meters, 320 feet. Draft, 23 meters, 75 feet. Depth, 41.5 meters. 136 feet. Deck clearance, 34.01 meters, 111.58 feet. Installed power, 7,000 kilowatts, 11,000 volts. 6 Vartzilla 18V32 9775 HP diesel engines. 6 ABB AMG 0900XU10 AC generators. Propulsion, 8 Kamewa 7,375 horsepower, 360 degree fixed propeller azimuth thrusters. Speed, 4 knots, 7.4 kilometers per hour, 4.6 miles per hour. Capacity, liquid mud, 705 cubic meters, 24,900 cubic feet. Drill water, 2,078 cubic meters, 73,400 cubic feet. Potable water, 1,185 cubic meters, 41,800 cubic feet. Fuel oil, 4,426 cubic meters, 156,300 cubic feet. Bulk mud, 386 cubic meters. 13,600 cubic feet. Bulk cement, 231 cubic meters, 8,200 cubic feet. Crew, 146.